So um, the research that I'm going to present um, was carried out in the Piave wine area, uh, which is an area located in the Veneto region in the northeast part uh, of, uh, of Italy. This is a completely plain area uh, that extends over a surface of about 100 um, 140,000 40, hectares and about 50% of the total surface is covered by vineyards. Here are some images of the area. Um, uh, the viticulture in these areas is characterized by very modern techniques, by a high mechanization level for the production of um, uh, medium and uh, low cost wines um, produced with uh, both international varieties like Pinot Gris, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Carmenere and Merlot and also autochthonous varieties uh, like Lera, Manzoni Bianco, Verduzzo and uh, Raboso. So a little bit of background, uh, um, so um, in the last decades a decrease of soil organic matter has, uh, has been observed in the soil of these areas as in many other Italian regions and the causes are the limited use of co-manual organic amendments, the increase in heavy machinery traffic, inappropriate soil management and the climate change effects. So as a consequence, uh, uh, most of the soils of the Veneto region and the Piave area has um, medium-low uh, fertility. It's well known uh, that soil fertility can have, um, loss of soil fertility can have negative impacts on grape yield and quality. Um, recently, uh, the use of compost uh, in agriculture have, have been strongly promoted by the Italian policy in order to establish a complete cycling of the agricultural waste organic matter like the vine pruning wastes uh, via compost back into the food production in the field uh, and in the vineyard in particular compost can be used to both increase the organic matter content in the soil and to replace the chemical fertilizers in low impact agricultural systems. Um, to date, the studies uh, which investigate the impact compost has on uh, vineyard soils, vine growth and grape quality are quite limited. So there is still very little knowledge uh, um, about, um, about compost used in the vineyard. Um, for example, which kind of compost do we have to use, uh, what about the rates and the application methods and timing. So the aim of this study um, was to investigate um, the effect of different types of compost and application method in the pedoclimatic condition of the Piave area and in particular with the aim of preserving and improving the soil fertilities in the soil of this area to improve sustainable nutrient management practices and uh, last but not least to increase the competitiveness of local wine on local viticulture by promoting wines that satisfy the increasing consumers demand for the environmentally friendly products. Uh, the trial was carried out for five years from 2009 to 2013 uh, in a commercial vineyard in the lower part of the Piave area. Here you can see the characteristics of the vineyard. The variety was Cabernet Sauvignon grafted on 3309 and Guyot training. Uh, the vine density was about 5,000 plants per hectare and the vineyard at the beginning of the experiment was six years old. Um, the climate in the Piave area is a typical Mediterranean climate with warm summers and cool winters. And the table reports the average temperatures and rainfall in the five years of the study. And the average temperature was 18 po during the growing season from April to September was 18.4 degrees and the rainfall was uh, about 500 millimeters. Um, the soil in the vineyard had the typical characteristics of the soil in the lower, in the lower Piave plain area and these soils originated uh, from uh, the deposition of alluvial sediments by rivers of alpine origins and these soils um, had a sediment uh, texture with a medium water reserve and in the table you can see the um, 
physical and chemical characteristics of the soil at the beginning of the experiment. Uh, the nitrogen content was one gram per kilogram and the organic matter was uh, 23 grams per kilogram. So um, at the beginning of this, uh, the trial, this soil uh, displayed a medium fertility. Concerning the treatments, we compared uh, two different compost types, a compost obtained from cattle manure and uh, one obtained from vine pruning waste, and both were applied at a rate of four tons per hectare fresh weight. And uh, for compost from vineyard pruning waste, we compared two application methods, the inter-row and under-row application and compost was applied every year in March and incorporated into the soil by superficial tilling and the three treatments were compared to uh, no amendment and no fertilization control. Uh, agronomic traits like uh, shoot elongation, pruning weight, uh, um, yield and grape composition were analyzed every year over the five years of the experiment, while soil chemical composition, microbial biomass, uh, root uh, density and root distribution were analyzed in March 2014 at the end of the experiment after five consequent years of compost application. <coughs> Why did we study the root system? Because uh, the root system is the part of the vine that is most immediately affected by the soil management and root sites and distribution are strictly related to the above ground vine performance in terms of canopy size, yield and grape quality. Um, the root system was uh, studied by the profile wall method for three selected vines per treatment. We um, two vertical profiles, one at 90 cm and one at 40 cm, were dug, and roots were counted by position in a grid against the wall profile. Um, going to the results, this table reports the main chemical and biological characteristics of the soil of the compost treatment uh, compared to the no amendment control at the end uh, of the experiment. And from this data we can say that uh, compost had a positive effect uh, um, on the chemical and biological characteristics of the soils regardless of type of distribution method. All compost treatments showed uh, an increase in organic matter content with values ranging from 26 to 28 compared to the control that show values uh, equal to 23 that were very similar to the uh, to those recorded at the beginning of the experiment. And also total nitrogen and microbial biomass increased in the compost treatment compared to the control. Um, considering the root response to compost addition uh, in the graph, you can see the total number of roots at two uh, different distances from uh, the vine row at 45 centimeters at, at 90 centimeters and into five different soil layers up to a depth of one meter. And uh, what we can observe is that if we compare the two types of compost, the compost from pruning wood waste increased the root density distribution while the compost from cattle manure didn't show a significant influence uh, on the root system. Um, comparing the distribution methods, um, uh, the under row compost application promoted uh, a larger vertical and horizontal root uh, growth than the inter row application and uh, we can see it especially in the graph on the right uh, uh, that represent the profile at 90 centimeters from the vine row. Here you can observe the pictures of the root uh, profiles and uh, also schematic representation of the root distribution and uh, you can see that the inter-row, um, the under-row pruning waste uh, compost was the one that showed the highest uh, root density. Um, what were the effects of compost on the above ground uh, vine growth? Um, comparing the two compost uh, types, uh, the manure compost stimulated a higher vegetative growth. If you look at the graphs and uh, the table, the shoot length uh, and the vine pruning weight uh, um, uh, were the highest in the manure treatment. And, um, 
Well, considering the two distribution method, the pruning uh, waste compost stimulated higher vegetative growth only when it was applied uh, locally under the row, but not when uh, it was applied in the inter row. Um, looking at the effects uh, on yield and grape quality, um, the compost show a positive effect on the yield as it increased in all compost treatments by approximately 15 to 20 percent with no difference uh, between treatments. And this increase was related to the higher number of bunches and the higher bunch weight in all the compost treatments. Uh, if we take a look uh, to, the, um, uh, to the grape composition, the compost did not improve the overall grape quality, but on the contrary, a uh, small but significant reduction in the total soluble solids, total anthocyanins and flavonoids was observed uh, in the compost uh, applied under the row and in the manual treatment. And these results can be explained by the higher yields of this treatment, but not only. In fact, um, if, we got, if we want to get a complete picture of the overall vine balance, uh, beside the yield we must consider also the root growth and uh, the canopy growth. So in this perspective, we, uh, we saw that uh, uh, the manure compost was the treatment that promoted the highest vegetative growth, the highest figure. The under row uh, distribution, the local distribution of pruning waste compost was the one that promoted the larger root system development, while um, the inter row application of pruning waste compost uh, um, promoted a balanced root uh, canopy growth. We must be reminded that um, shoots and roots represent a strong sinks that can compete with fruit for nutrients and assimilate and that the balanced root to shoot growth is a prerequisite for a balanced allocation of nutrients and assimilates between these organs and the fruit. So it's a prerequisite of a, a good quality and a good yield. So summarizing and going to the conclusion, um, what we can say is that uh, application of compost in the vineyard can have positive effects uh, on vine performances, but attention must be paid to the compost type, to the application method, if we want to achieve a balanced root to shoot uh, growth. In the condition of the Piave area, we suggest that the interval application of compost from, from wine pruning waste at a rate of four tons per hectare or at a little higher rate uh, can successfully replace the mineral fertilization, improving yield and maintaining the great quality. Um, benefits observed on soil fertility must encourage the adoption of compost amendments in the vineyards with a double positive effect of improving the environmental sustainability of the viticulture practice in this area and also increasing the attractiveness of local wines by promoting eco-friendly products. I would like to acknowledge my colleagues from the Research Center for Viticulture and the Azienda Cescon that hosted the study and thank you for your attention.